Hey guys, it's Tech Rain here. In today's video, we'll be reviewing the Western Digital Red 4 terabyte NVMe drive. This is the SN700 NVMe drive. These drives are great for caching and just for putting it into a NAS to actually use for storage. And they're four freaking terabytes. And not only do we have one of them, we have five of them, which is just insane to actually think about. Now, keep in mind, the fifth one is still coming from Amazon. The rest of these I ordered from the manufacturer from Western Digital. They did not send me at all, nor this is a sponsor. This is something I bought. So I thought we have some fun by showing you guys how these drops perform, reviewing them, reviewing an actual NAS. And another fun video, which I definitely think you guys should get subscribed for, is we're gonna try to game on a NAS device, a NAS storage. Technically, it is a PC, but how does it actually perform when you game? So if you don't wanna miss out on that video, definitely get subscribed, but let's get in the specs the first thing you know about this drive this drive costs 350 dollars that is right this is not the kind of drive you would buy to put in your gaming pc you can theoretically do that if you have the money for it this is more just great for caching information and just pulling off information and reading some right really fast and that's the best thing about these kind of drives now i plan to actually set these up in a nas that's all using nvme drives or m.2 or slash ssds so yeah that's nas is gonna have 20 terabytes of fast storage with great caching. Now, another important thing to keep in mind, these do only use PCIe Gen 3 lanes, so it doesn't have PCIe Gen 4 or Gen 5 on it. So just something to keep in consideration if you do have a motherboard that supports those type, it isn't gonna run that. For the speed of this drive for its read is 3,400 megabytes a second. And that's to be expected with Gen 3 drives. They aren't gonna be like the super fastest thing in the world like Gen 4 or Gen 5 but they're still very good nevertheless. The write speeds to this drive though are only 3,100 megabytes a second, so slightly lower than its actual reads. Of course, we will be doing a speed test later here to actually verify if this actual drive performs in that use case. So let's get in the unboxing. So of course, the box, this thing is pretty straightforward. You can see a little bit of the reads and writes on the box in itself. Nothing too fancy. You can't see the drive in the back, which is cool, but there's a little bit of tape up here on the front area. And once you remove that, you can actually get access to the drive in itself. It just plops open like so. And then you can just pull it on out. And with that, we got access to the little NVMe drive. And it is one of those plastics where you have to pull it apart to actually get access to it. So I'm gonna sit it down, pinch the bottom, and there we go. And there's the drive in itself. So here's a little close-up of the drive in itself, which you can actually see the NAND chips on it, some of the other stuff like the controller and stuff. Once my camera focuses, you can actually see a little bit more, but this is actually the back side of it. And the front side of it too, has some more stuff that actually comes on it. you can see the little sticker and stuff. Um, this say some information about the model number and stuff like that, but doesn't particularly matter too much. And that's pretty much it with the drive. I thought this drive was gonna be one of those things where it's like, has a bunch of NAND on the front and all the controllers and stuff. And the other side was gonna be completely blank, but that is actually not the case with this drive. Now, there isn't anything else that comes with this actual drive. There is a manual that comes with it, but there is no M.2 screw. So you're either gonna use one that comes with the NAS and itself or that comes with your motherboard if you are installing this into your computer so this is the new area for testing drives i just want to show you guys this because it's really cool so what we do is go to the back side here i have the case unlocked right now okay what is shocking me it must be this <laughs> yo grant you gotta stop you gotta stop bro you gotta stop yo who the hell are you don't touch that you die okay then how are you alive don't ask stupid questions. You don't need to know about that right now. I won't touch that then. I'm just gonna install this PCIe adapter, okay? Okay, so I wanna show you guys my new testing area for drives real quick, because this is really cool. So I have my PC here, that's old HP I'm not using anymore, but I wanna use it for just testing drives because uh, the PC upstairs, I can't really test drives because I have no random .2 slots. However, we got an M.2 adapter, and to get the full bandwidth of that adapter, we have to use a PCIe slot, which you can see it's like right down there. And all we have to do to pull out this driver testing is we literally just pull out the little adapter, which is pretty cool. We just take a screwdriver, unscrew the drive that's actually in here, and place the other drive in. But once we switch out the drive, which is really easy to do, all we do is take this, place it back into the PC for testing. Now, there is supposed to be a back plate for this thing, but I took it off because for some reason, um, it just didn't fit in PC. I'm not entirely sure what was wrong with that back plate. Yeah, I'm just not too worried about it. And all we do is place the adapter back in there, which you can see I've already did it like so, but it's really easy because since the back plate's on there, it's like really easy to punch in. So take the drive that we've installed, place in the adapter however we want. So we can just line up with the PCIe slot, push it in like so. With that, our drive is all ready for testing. And all we have to do is turn this on, 
and go upstairs and remote into it. So once we remote into it, we of course can access the PC from downstairs without having to do anything, which is so nice. I just want to quickly say it makes my life so much easier for like testing drives. Try that four terabyte drive, which is right here. Awesome. And since it's a new drive, it should be fresh to test. So there should be nothing wrong with it. We'll be able to test full bandwidth it with our adapter. So our drive test just finished with Crystal Mark. Our read speed is 3055 and our write is 2941. Now, keep in mind, supposedly this drive was says listed on the site here that the read speed is supposed to go up to 3400 megabits. We have full compatibility with this drive right now. We only got 3055, which is still good. I was expecting it to be around 3300 to 3400. This is fine though. Uh, and then for the actual write speed, it was supposed to be 3100. Instead, we got 2,941, which is still close, but I was hoping they get around 3,000 to uh, 3,100. But either way, that's the test for this drive, which is pretty good. And the cool thing about this is now, since we are able to write this on here, we can actually save our document, save as an image. We paste this in here and I can actually list it with other drives. So I've already tested a uh, Samsung 980 Pro. We tested a Vision's Take drive. Now, comparing it to the Samsung 980 Pro, it doesn't have as fast of read speeds but it doesn't have as fast as write speeds either like for the amount you're paying 350 for this drive you expect like to get uh really fast reads and write which is unfortunately not the case compared to the, the larger drive at the end of the day you are getting like four terabytes and really good read speeds and write speeds but just i was expecting to get a little bit more for the value of that drive but uh yeah no the samsung actually crushes it though in the comparison but then again this is like a one terabyte drive and if you were to get like a was it a four terabyte samsung drive Honestly, I thought a four terabyte Samsung drive would be much more expensive on a discount right now for like 38% off. So it is like 60 to $70 lower than the SN700 Red. So and this is also a new drive. Keep in mind too. Hey, yo, quick question. So I'm just doing something for the video and you're much more into data storage and just like professional IT stuff. So I was comparing the SN700 Red and doing the final benchmarking for the Crystal Mark test. And the reason rights are pretty good, right? Uh, however, for its price point for 350, you get the Samsung 990 Pro 4 terabyte PCIe 4 for like 289. So just since you're much more into data storage than I am, what's the benefit of going with the SN 700 Red over the uh, Samsung? Yeah. So the other the other reason I went with this is because uh, well, it's the professional version of the the Red. But actually for QNAP, um, it's best to only use, uh, if you're using a NAS, you should only use drives that are certified for the NAS to work. Trust me, if I had seen a Samsung, I would have had bought a Samsung um, if it matched the compatibility list best. Okay, okay, gotcha. So let's go over my final thoughts on the Western Digital Red SN700 drive. Do I think it's a good drive for its price point? What's my honest thoughts about it? If you were to buy a drive for yourself for a personal PC, I would go with the Samsung 990 Pro 4 terabyte just because the price point is significantly cheaper and the reads are are significantly better. Uh, which we, we solved that with the 980 Pro compared to the Western Digital Red. Now, I don't say this drive is a bad drive altogether. It is compatible with some storage devices like like we said earlier with my father, he said, I only went with this because I know it's compatible with the drive. So if it's not compatible with the device you're going for, then you might not want to get the drive in itself. So this is just kind of something I want to go over with you guys to go over my final thoughts and conclusion with this, because like at the end of the day, I could recommend the Samsung 980 Pro for four terabytes. But now that I know that for information, the compatibility, it's a lot more important when I'm doing an honest review for testing. So. Yeah, if this drive is listed for your NAS, 10 out of 10 can recommend. If you can, of course, get a different drive for your NAS that actually still works, that is equivalent or even better, like the Samsung drive we looked at early here, which was, it's a 350 for the drive for the red. You can only get it for 290. Yeah, I would recommend going with something else. But if you're going for your personal PC, the Samsung's look is significantly better at the end of the day. But that's my honest review of the SN700 drive. If you guys enjoyed this review video here today, make sure to smash the like button and get subscribed to meet some future tech content. Because later here, we're doing a PC build for $800 on AM5 and I am so excited. So definitely get subscribed.